shortly after I just got certified, uh, I started seeing my inbox, my, my LinkedIn, a lot of invites for interviews. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Today we have with us uh, Mr. Tabo Patsu, who's one of our star learners. He's uh, very happy to share his uh, career transition story with us. So, Tabo, welcome to the show. Thank you very much, Reshma. Thank you for the time. Great. So, Tabo, let's begin with a brief introduction about yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah, my name is Tabo Pizzo. I'm in South Africa. And I'm working currently, I work for various companies, but currently I am working for the company called BMW South Africa. And yes, so that's where currently I'm based. And yeah, enjoying myself in the space of IT and have performed various roles. But at the moment, really, I can say, yeah, I, I am working for BMW and having a good time. That's wonderful. So, Tapo, we are very much interested to know about your career transition story. So, before that, uh, I would love to know what was the motive behind, you know, when you actually planned for your uh, career transition? Okay. Very good question, Reshma. You see, the, the career transition came into the picture when I realized a couple of years later that in the space of IT, a lot of things have moved. And the only thing that is permanent on this earth, it is change, you know. Uh, I mean, I started right away from support, doing support, the first level, the second level, you know, uh, the quality control and all those things. So, and I realized that, uh, I mean, the technology, IT was moving into different directions, into DevOps, you know, into digital transformation. And really, if you were to be left behind, your skills would really be irrelevant. So that on its own started, uh, you know, the journey to career transition. That's wonderful. Uh, Tab, I totally agree that, you know, in order to be put in IT, it's always uh, important to be aligned with emerging courses, right? I mean, the technical, new yeah. technology. So mm -hmm. that's good. And uh, Tab, a career yeah. transition is definitely a difficult task. But more than that, yeah. it's a difficult decision as well. So there's a lot yes. of planning involved. We need to organize ourselves. So um, how mm -hmm. did you go ahead and do that? Well, firstly, uh, I one, I personally had to have the desire to say, where do I want to be career-wise? And especially in the space of IT, you know, IT is very broad. You know, it's very broad, but I had a desire to say, where do I want to be? Number two, uh, do I have the commitment? You know, other people, when they want to, it doesn't matter what you want to change in your life. Uh, the most important thing, it is commitment. Whatever that you are planning to do, uh, you first is that, what do I want to do? How do I want to do it? When do I want to do it? So you need commitment. So what I personally did was, I want to go into the space of development. I want to go into the space of DevOps. That was, firstly, I, I identified what I wanted to be because uh, by then when I made the decision, five years, 10 years from now, DevOps will still be around. The skills will still be in demand. The first time I got certified as a DevOps engineer by Edureka, We'll answer the, also the question, why did I also choose Edureka for that career? That, too, that was my but next for, question. <laughs> please. But for now, uh, sufficient to say, when I chose Edureka and I made that career path, uh, shortly after I just got certified, uh, I started seeing my inbox, my, my LinkedIn, a lot of invites for interviews for from different companies in South Africa. That told me that the skill was really in demand. The, the, the main purpose why I chose Edureka, it was because they have, number one, life projects. Like the project that you're going to do at the end of the course, it's not only something theoretical or based on the, uh, on the textbook, but it is what is actually happening in the industry. You know, when they say, okay, 
you are going to build a pipeline using Jenkins, you are going to create an image using Docker, you are going to now, you see, these are, uh, and, and the projects are real life. So that means even if you go to an interview, you are not just going to be talking about the theory behind the Docker, theory behind the Jenkins, theory behind Java, no. You are going to demonstrate that you have actually done it and I've got a project. And if they ask you to share the link, you are able to share the link. Now, that was one of the outstanding things about why I chose Edureka for the career path as a DevOps engineer in the beginning. So I know that I've said a mouthful, but just to summarize everything, I really had to have commitment. I really need to have a sense of direction. But the key thing was I had to commit. Correct. I had to commit, yes. That's that's wonderful, Tabu. That's that's very important, right? So it really helps us to go ahead, get organized, because when you are a working yes. professional, I think commitment matters a lot, right? So how yes. does this particular course go ahead and fulfill your requirement? The the instructors at Udureka, honestly speaking, these guys are well, well um, you know, industry expertise. They're well conversed in the matters of whatever, that subject matter experts in whatever they were training. And you see, the, it helped me a great deal because it was not only about the live classroom that I was attending. When I had questions or difficulty, like for example, I mean, I worked in the, in the, in the, in the DevOps space and in, at work really when I had uh, issues wherever I had, the good part was I would always refer back to one of the, uh, I mean, when you look at the DevOps course within a director, it's a, it's a package, you know. So when, let's say I've forgotten about something in, 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 in Docker. So I can only go to the section of Docker and revisit that particular topic and be able to continue with the project. So there is also opportunity even within the company that I'm working for to be able to move, you know, and demonstrate or, you know, uh, make your skills beneficial to, to, to the company. And I cannot even emphasize more. That is really key to see that what you have studied, it is making a real life impact. That's true. That's true. At the end of the day, it all comes to the upskill part, right? So that definitely opens yes. a lot of opportunity within the current organization or uh, like how you said, a lot of interviews coming up, right? So that yeah. uh, definitely yes. shows the mm -hmm. success of your particular course. I'm very happy to know about it, Tabo. So how was the reaction from and from your colleagues and uh, others after you were, you know, certified uh, with AWS or DevOps? Because we see that uh, you have a lot of for certifications from Edureka, right? I could see a full stack mm -hmm. development course and I could see an AWS DevOps and also Linux administrator course. So um, how, how was the response after you got certified and uh, you were able to upskill yourself? Well, the reaction from my colleagues, quite honestly speaking, was like, wow. Man, uh, I remember when I engaged one of the IT security um, manager in our in our, uh, our company where I'm working and you know when I was sharing with him the journey through Edureka and mind you when I started with Edureka COVID was about to to hit and and, and there were lockdown regulations and whatnot right and Edureka then became very very relevant at that particular time for me because I can study at home. And every time I obtain a certification, I'll share it with, with my colleagues at work and say, hey guys, I just got certified as a DevOps engineer. And they're like, wow, man, please help us. You know, and, and, and they started uh, developing an interest to an extent on some of my colleagues are also studying, but I don't know where they're studying, where are they studying with, but it, it, it gave them also the opportunity to upskill themselves. I remember there's also one guy who's a close friend of mine who is not even working for the company, who also enrolled. Uh, when I shared my story, uh, he enrolled with Edureka, uh, I think it was sometimes last year, and he also took the course DevOps engineer. So really it was evident because I was, I was like, what, uh, an ambassador, uh, you know, saying, hey guys, 
Um, I just got certified. And I was sharing with them, showing them that, hey, you know, look at this or go to my LinkedIn profile. Uh, I just got certified for this. And it really gave them the hunger also to say, hey, I also want to put myself, I want to upskill myself. Because remember, um, you know, in a year's time, in five years to come, things are going to change. But I can, uh, I can rest assure you, people who are able to adapt to the change that the IT industry is going through are the people who are really hungry for knowledge because you can never say, now I know. I think the real success is when our success motivates others also, right, to go ahead, upskill themselves yes. in this ever-changing industry. So that's wonderful yes. to know about it. Tabo. So one last question for you. So what is mm -hmm. your message for others who are watching the stream and planning to go ahead with the career transition? So how should they go ahead and give a start? Okay, my message to everyone who's watching this uh, video uh, or this, this podcast my message is really important that look you 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 need to to align yourself number one number two if you're going to take your career seriously you are going to need commitment you are going to need to commit you know a piece of paper that i've got a certificate through this particular institution is not going to really help you much but what is going to help you much is to be able to transform that piece of certificate into something real in the real world because the industry is looking for game changers, people who are hungry, you know, and, and companies when they see that you're taking initiatives, you know, when they see that you're taking an initiative as an employee, you are going over and above what you currently know, they are willing to look at you in a different way. And the, the world of IT is making impact in every single sector. And it means the skills are highly in demand. I can speak, I mean, and as I say, on average, personally, ever since I got certified through Edureka, uh, whether it be full stack developer, whether it be it uh, Java, whether it be it um, DevOps, any other, or Linux or, or AWS, on a daily basis, I get at least eight vacancies, uh, eight vacancies per day. I'm not taking per week, per day, I get like four phone calls. Like we saw your profile on PNET, we saw your profile on LinkedIn, you've got the in skills that we require. So that means when you properly upskill yourself and you go for it, this time you won't be looking for the job. The job will be looking for you. That's that's really nice to know about, Havo. It really feels good. So thank you so much for uh, being on the show today and for sharing all the valuable inputs that uh, you know you could provide us. So it was definitely a delight to have you on the show. And thank you so much for this.